Hey guys, today we're going back to a big canvas. Um, I have my edges painted. Um, I have my sides taped with masking tape and I have uh, cardboard boxes clipped to the edge um, on a prayer that said softball won't roll off the canvas. Um, we are using softballs today instead of golf balls because of how large this canvas is and hopefully it works. We're gonna find out. Hoping for a sincere performance But open to finding the moment To finding out where I'm headed now Looking for a sign of disaster So I can make it there faster I'm weighing the consequences out I can, I can see in all directions It's all open to interpretation But I see colors that are breaking from the other side The other side When I make mountains out of summer trails when I Can you tell me the secret of how you can take it or leave it? How you can blend in with the crowd? I'm so scared, so damn afraid to look. I'm so sick of talking. I'm wearing the I can, I can see in all directions It's all open to interpretation But I see colors that are breaking from the other side The other side When I make mountains out of summer trails It's all open to interpretation But I see 
Hey guys, here's the um, finished painting wet. Turned out um, pretty amazing. I'm gonna try not to step in paint, which I just did. Um, I just cleaned up too. So there it is. I will um, bring you back when it's dry. Hey guys, um, here is the dried painting. Um, I'm super happy with it. Uh, all the colors dried back true to color. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy with how it, how it dried. So let me take you in. Um, the tricky thing on this one uh, for me, I wanted to use orange as a contrast color to the blue, but orange and blue make brown and orange and green make brown. So using orange is, um tricky with those colors so um i tried to limit my use of orange as you saw i only um used it in three of the five sections on when i was pouring um but you'll notice like up in here like the orange just stayed so clean and it's like a bright spot on the canvas just adding a highlight and even in here where this big area of orange that got um, has kind of an underlay of blue, it's still not brown. Um, even in there, it's more of like a burnt sienna. My shadow's in it, so it looks brown, but um, it's, it's really not um, brown. I would say maybe that is, maybe that's, it. and maybe that too. Um, but overall, um, there's just really cool areas of orange on this. Um, as we were, <laughs> as we were um, tilting the canvas with a softball on it, you could see um, the stitches of the softball going through the paint and creating all these like little um, riffs before the softball got covered with, um, paint, I would say within the first five, six seconds, then it didn't do it anymore. There's one more area right down here where it did it. Um, that's kind of cool. Um, but those are the only two areas on this entire canvas, um, where you would really know that, uh, I used a softball to, to make this. So yeah, I mean, I think it's a really great technique using the ball because it allows you to mix colors together that you otherwise wouldn't, um, as long as you're careful. Um, because think about it, like for a puddle pour or for a ring pour or a flip cup, you're putting everything in this cup and paint sink and, they're going to mix. I don't care how careful you are. They're going to mix. I mean, when you're doing your ring pour and um, circling it around, the paints mix in the cup because the cup is agitated. So you're always going to get brown in those instances. Or if you mix yellow and blue, you're going to get green. Where like this technique, I feel like you could keep colors separated um, so yeah, I'm super happy with it. 60 by 48, huge. I love it. If you want to see more big canvases, click subscribe, click like. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you.